Hello, I'm Elizabeth Connolly from Interview Skills Clinic. We're a small team of professional interview coaches and interview trainers who are also experts in civil service interviews. In this video, I'm going to help you write a civil service 250 word behaviour example. Now, one of the most common difficulties clients have when they apply to the civil service is how do they write these examples in their application and get a high mark and get sifted through to an interview. Now, firstly, your written examples will be assessed using the Civil Service Success Profile Framework. You'll find a link to this framework in the job ad. Now, if you can't find it there, literally just go onto Google and type in Civil Service Success Profile Framework and it'll show up straight away. It's gonna really help you if you do download it and you read it. It's not too long a doc document, but a little bit dry, but it is really the best way to find out how your written examples are being assessed. What are civil service behaviours? Well, behaviours are very similar to competences. They cover the knowledge, actions and skills to deliver a task or project. There are nine success profile behaviours, but in my experience, you're only going to be asked for a few of these in an application. Some of the common ones are delivering at pace, seeing the bigger picture, making effective decisions, leadership and working together. Some of the least common ones are developing self and others, managing a quality service, changing and improving. Now, when you write a 250 word example, you need to use the STAR acronym to help you structure your example. Now, you're probably already familiar with this, the situation, the task, the actions and the result. I'm going to share an example for delivering at pace. You don't need to write anything down because I provide a link to the written example and others in the link below. So how do you start? Well, first of all, with the situation. I led a team of four to organise a two day conference. You need to name it. OK, for 150 people with six weeks notice instead of what should have been four months. We needed to do this to accommodate the availability of an international speaker. I delivered the conference by OK. What are your actions? You need to have at least four actions with snippets of evidence so that this is a real example, not a theoretical example. So one, I effectively prioritise my workload to manage competing priorities such as, and then how did you do this? I delegated non-managerial tasks for other projects such as two junior colleagues. I ensured I had sufficient time to oversee and plan and deliver the conference. Two, I appointed and motivated the team. OK, how did you do this? Again, get a little bit of snippets of evidence. I communicated priorities and objectives such as with enthusiasm, allocating roles and responsibilities that aligned with the team members strengths and their interests. For example, to promote teamwork, I encourage the development of a shared vision for the conference. OK, tell us what it is. What was that shared vision? And three, I regularly reviewed the quality and consistency of my team's performance. OK, how did you use this? Well, I use project management tools um, to, to such as, you know, to assess whatever it is you're assessing. I monitored key deliverables in relationship to the agreed timetable and I factored in contingency plans by doing what? I introduced a new platform. Tell us what that is, for example, which improved communication and collaborative working between the team. I supported my team, would be maybe number four. I supported my team to overcome some of the challenges. What were the challenges? Well, when senior leaders requested an additional co conference theme at short notice, I encouraged the team to assess different options before collectively we all agreed on, a, on the solution. Again, tell us what it is. I instilled confidence in the team's ability to deliver quality outcomes by praising their achievements and supporting their professional development. OK, now briefly finish this written example with the result. Due to my leadership and project management skills, the conference was delivered on time and with, within budget. Um, I achieved a high delegate satisfaction rate. Tell us what that is. 
And that's really the end of your written example. I hope this is helpful and you can sort of see the way that we would go about helping our clients develop their written examples. You've got to remember to add snippets of evidence in your examples in order to show that it's a real event and not a theoretical example. But at the same time, you've got to match the criteria of delivering at pace, which you can find in the success profile framework. Now, remember, you can access this example in the link below. And if you'd like to have one to one coaching, you can, of course, book a free consultation on our website, Interview Skills Clinic. And that's also below.